We're starting with Ashley today and she's an example of our crop top trends. This jacket is Alice and Olivia. We have a theory crop top. The great thing about the theory crop top in particular is that it's done in a structured kind of polished way. So if you have that proportion, it still is quite tailored which I think is something to keep in mind, especially if you're going to be pairing with denim. I love that these are more of a 70s flare. These are current Elliot. I love having a red bag injected into this look because it sort of completes the all-American sportswear idea. The Saint Laurent bag is gorgeous. And I like to think that you can play around with the way that you, you hold bags. So this one is made as an over the shoulder, but you could always carry it in a more portfolio way. And with this kind of look too, you could also really pump it up with more and more gold. I think that's a very 70s idea and you could really throw on as many cuffs as you wanted to. I wouldn't wear a crop top with this proportion to the workplace. I would wear it for more evening or late afternoon. This would equate to more fun than business, I think. This sort of goes from day to night quite easily and it manages to be polished yet easy, which again is always, always what we're aiming for. So Laura here will be continuing our trend on crop tops. The nice thing here is that you don't really have any skin exposure, which makes it more workplace appropriate. This is a Philip Lim top with an Oswald Helgeson skirt. This top is amazing because it has embellishment on the collar, which I think is really nice, especially if you want to take it from workplace to evening. The Oswald skirt is fantastic because it's not showing too much skin. It's a very ladylike silhouette. But Amazingly enough, if you wear it with this type of shirt, which has a more relaxed sweatshirt feel, it is not too ladylike. It's, it's a combination of the two things. The bag is center on. Obviously, frame bags are fantastic with this proportionally very Jackie Onassis, very 1960s. But we also tie that in with a more grounded shoe. These Vince booty sandals are amazing for spring. If you wanted to with this, do it with a nice short, maybe a print short I think would be really cute, maybe high-waisted so you could also maintain non-skin exposure. But it also could work just as well with a pencil skirt, maybe black, maybe white. I think with a look like this that is not too much one or the other, it works for a variety of, of occasions. Kellyanne here is wearing our next look, which is Belly 44 leather crop top, Joa linen blazer, and Sachin and Bobby cropped pants, which I'll go into detail about each piece. But I, I think this, this works, again, not only is it a play on proportions, it's a play on textures. I'm gonna be saying these types of things a lot because I believe very strongly in them. So if you have a leather crop top, you better have the right proportion to go with it. It's still a very sexy look, but it's, it managed to, to be refined, and I think that's because of the variations of this texture. It's nice to have that sheerness with the texture of the leather. I think the linen mixed with this texture, and then even the fringe on the Valentino bag is, is quite nice. And then you get into also the patent leather and these fantastic Jimmy Choo pumps. I love a white pump. I think especially with an all-black ensemble, it sort of pops up from the bottom and lifts it in a way. Again, with all black, I think gold jewelry is fantastic, but I, I love this look. I think it's perfect evening wear, whether, I don't know, I guess if you're cruising the town by yourself, but it would be much more appropriate if you're with a date or some friends. So here we're exploring cropped pants. These pants are J brand. They go with everything, and I love having the pop of color and pairing that with more pops of color to kind of elevate the sweatshirt top idea a bit. I love a sweatshirt, like a more casual piece with, with the pump. Prada nude pumps, which literally go with everything. And you could easily do this with a pair of sneakers and it would be just as cute for running around town, going to brunch, shopping, what have you. This is an Alex Wang sweatshirt, great fit. It's not too tight and it's blousey enough without being overpowering. This amazing Saint Laurent crossbody bag, which is great for running around. If you wanted to with a look like this, you could pile on lots of cuffs, maybe a great watch, maybe lots of rings, and it would become more and more street and maybe a bit edgier if you wanted to go in that direction. I think that this is a very polished, casual day look that could take you to a variety of occasions. So we're continuing the cropped pants trend here with Laura. We have an ALC bomber jacket, rag and bone distress tank, and page denim 
distressed jeans as well, which are rolled and cropped. Fantastic Prada pumps, another very good wardrobe staple, and Valentino studded bag. This is the edgier version on the cropped pants trend. With the last cropped pant outfit we did, and with this one, they're basically kind of translating to every scenario day to night. We tied them both in with, with pumps on purpose because I, I think for street chic, it works really well to um, elevate it in a bit, especially when you get into this really distressed territory. The, the great thing about it is you're wearing heels, so it gives you a professional air, but at the same time, it reads very street and cool and accessible. And I really think if, if you're gonna go with more of a casual pairing with a distressed denim, with, like with this tank top in particular, it's very smart to have these elevated textures like this waxed linen and the leather together. It really kind of steps it up a bit in general. You can take it to a tough, tough, edgy place with the studs on this bag, but at the same time, it also reads very polished, I think, streamlined.